All right, so for this week's project, we're gonna be taking a look at yet another viewer submitted unit. This is a Pioneer CTF 700 cassette deck, and this comes from Jim. He lives in Richmond, Virginia. He's seen my video from another Pioneer uh, 700 and got in touch with me about uh, looking at his. And since I already have one on my channel for this model, what we're gonna do in an eff effort to expedite the video along and expedite his repair along, is I think we're just gonna do kind of a greatest hits of his repair. Um, so when we get ready to come back in, what we're gonna do is start off just having a look at the interior of the unit and uh, confirming what he's uh, complaining about. And what he's saying here is that the unit will play back, but there is uh, no rewind. So I think we all know, uh, if you've got any experience with these tape decks, there's quite a few idler tires in this one that's kind of moving all the motion around, so I'm sure that that's probably going to be what we're going to take a look at first. As for our intro music this week, we're checking out Van Halen's second album from 1979. And you can say what you want about this great band, but they will not be denied their place in history, and neither will Eddie Van Halen as one of the greatest of all times. So let's listen to a little bit of my favorite track from this. This is called Somebody Get Me a Doctor. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pick back up and we'll just take a quick look at the interior of this. We do have a little bit of background noise going on. I can hear my neighbor, he's using an angle grinder on something over there pretty aggressively. So we'll try to ignore that while we have a look at the inside of this. Finding everything in absolute pristine condition, untouched for all these years, all the original belts still in it. And of course, if we take a look down in here, we can see multiple idler tires and of course this is going to be a big area of focus when we're getting this up and going most of these will be able to be um, resurfaced or reconditioned um, pretty much all of them actually i don't see anything broken if i see anything with cracks in it then at that point we'll look at a possible um, replacement but these all look to be in really good shape all the belts still intact no goo everything looking real good I did notice that the cap stem belt is very loose as it's sliding all over the pulley. But other than that, everything looking real good. This one laid out very nicely. Dual record playback switches. These will be cleaned unless there is any kind of an indication that I would need to take them apart. But I found that these are very stable over the years. And uh, most of the time, the cleaning is really not even necessary but that's gonna be done as a preventative maintenance to make sure there's no cutting in and out of any of the channels or motor boating or any kind of record issue with this. So, and if you need more details as far as the front of the unit is concerned, you can refer back to the video I have on my channel where I go over all these buttons and give you a close up look at all the front of it and so forth. But the first thing that we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna to have to get this mechanism out and that does require removing the front panel, all the buttons. And because of everything being hardwired in, the way I normally do this is just get the mechanism out, kind of get it turned around a little bit, and work on it inside here, kind of off to the side. So that's really going to be the first, first thing we're going to do. But let's go ahead and plug it up real quick and just confirm that it will play back and confirm the uh, rewind issue. So give me a second for that. All right, picking back up with you. Got the unit hooked up, and it is working. Pretty much just as he sits. Sounds a little muddy, like it may need to be cleaned a little bit, but pretty much just what he said as far as rewind. 
We got nothing. We'll fast forward, but that rewind idler is just too gloss, glazed over, and it ain't going to move. So pretty much what we talked about in the beginning is where we're headed. So the next clip you see, I'm going to go ahead and have the front of this completely removed and have that mechanism out, and I'll have that process started, and uh, we'll start to getting on the road to getting this thing back into good working condition. So stand by and I'll pick back up with you when, uh, when we're ready for the next step. All right, as we pick back up, getting our first look at the unit in the servicing position, or this is my preferred servicing position, is to get that mechanism out and get it swung around and get it in a position where I can just work on it off the side here that way none of the wires have to be cut or taken off or any of that. Um, of course to get to this point you'll have to remove some things. It's a plate covering the cap stand which I went ahead and pulled out so I can get that cleaned and lubricated and then of course the motor plate uh, is separate from that. You will have to pull a screw out of the solenoid um, that's on the back of the cap stand plate to reach a screw that's hidden by it but once you get that out I just kind of laid everything over to the side to make sure there's not going to be an issue with any of the wires breaking or anything uh, getting damaged. And of course we want to get to this point here, got all the idler tires exposed where we can start going ahead and pulling some of these assemblies off and making sure that the uh, arms that they're sitting on are lubricated real well and everything's moving fluidly and of course get the tires um, reconditioned and put back on. I'll look at all those pretty closely but I found more times than not, these tires are completely fine. No cracks, mostly just dry and glazed over. So that's kind of where I'm at with it at this point. Went ahead and picked up the belt kit for this. Um, there's a total of four belts and they're all gonna be replaced. So I think the next point we'll pick up is after I've got the mechanism redone and uh, getting ready to put it back into the unit. All right, so we're gonna pick back up, just kind of give you a progress update. Got all of our idler tires reconditioned here. Now we're starting to see that really nice, dark, flat, black look to them. It's gonna give us uh, pretty good gripping properties. They all kind of came out to uh, feel like they have good, uh, good grip to them, so you never really know until you get it put back together and test it out. But from what I can tell here, everything seems to be going along pretty good. Got the cap stand cleaned up, getting ready to drop that back in. And then we'll start uh, by putting the cap stand plate back. And then we'll move on to installing our cap stand belt and getting the motor put back in. So it's coming along. This is kind of one of those time intensive projects. You gotta do a little bit, maybe uh, take a break pick back up and do a little bit more and that's what I've pretty much been doing. But it's coming along pretty good so we'll go ahead and start getting some of the mechanism reassembled and then we'll pick back up and uh, take a look at our fast forward and rewind torque and see how that, that's all working so give me a few minutes for that. All right we're going to pick back up. Went ahead and got our mechanism reinstalled back in the unit got all the wiring put back the way that it was originally and before we go full on reassembly we're going to be testing out the torque for the fast forward and the rewind but in particular the rewind because that's what he had complained about and sure enough it wouldn't move the tape at all in rewind so let's go ahead and we're going to start off with basically just a 74 minute blank tape I've got it all the way to one side let's check out the rewind on this.
making its way through that reel of tape pretty well, no trouble whatsoever. One of the classic symptoms of you got it better, but you didn't get it right, is by the time you start getting to full reel of tape over on the uh, supply side, it'll start to bog down and not run as fast. And in this case, it's been very consistent all the way through. But this is a tape that's fairly new. It's in good shape, so there wouldn't be any, you know, issues with the uh, cassette housing or anything like that, any warping or anything like that that would cause an issue. So it's going to finish this one up with no trouble. We'll go ahead and let it cut off. Okay. Now the next one we're going to use is our Tesla bench test tape. This is a pretty stacked tape too, but it's a very old tape. It's been around the block a little bit. So let's see how it does with a tape that's not so perfect. And it seems to be tearing through this one pretty good too. And I believe that tape may have been a little bit longer than the other one, but it's tearing through it pretty good. And that's it. But aside from actually testing the tapes, what I like to do more than anything is I like to put it in and feel it on my finger and how much force it takes to stop it. And in this case, it eats into my finger pretty good. Of course, in rewind, it'll shut off because we don't have the take up reel moving. So I think we're good on torque. All the idler tires reconditioned real well. Everything seems to be good. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get the front of it reassembled back together and get the uh, power switch put back in, get all of that going, and then I'll move on to the speed test and uh, we'll take a look at the speed. All right, as we pick back up, got everything back together now, got all the wiring put back where it goes. All the little factory wire holders are kind of put back where they were. Strangely enough, when you take one of these apart, if you don't manipulate it too much, these wires really just kind of go right back to where they were laying before you took anything apart. And it all kind of looks the way it did when it came from the factory. So, looks real good. No trouble whatsoever. And uh, I've already done some test recording with it. Cleaned this uh, line control and uh, level control, output level control. Um, Put a little uh, cleaner in the record playback switches, although they worked fine before I did that. And all of that seems to be doing just fine. So I think we're ready to go ahead and we'll do a final record test. We'll make that the final playback and slash record test, I guess you would say. And uh, we'll be ready to send this thing on its way. So give me a minute for that and we'll pick back up and uh, we'll finish this one. All right, so we'll pick back up for one final 
record test, which will also serve as our final playback test on the uh, Pioneer CTF 700. And thanks uh, to Jim for sending us in to get it repaired. I'm sure I'll get some good use out of this now that the thing will actually rewind a tape. And uh, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised by the record quality of this machine. Well, we started off this video listening to that Van Halen 2, so we'll go ahead and do the final record test from the same album. And what I've got going here is we're using a chrome tape, and this machine, as soon as you put in a chrome tape, it auto-detects that and uh, will light up the uh, chrome light. The bias, if you set it in the detented position, that is for auto-chrome, so that's all taken care of. I've already kind of prearranged our output level and input level control to match the mixer over here. So the first thing we'll do, let's go ahead and reset the counter and we'll go ahead and get the machine moving. And we'll start our song up here. We'll go ahead and cut it off there and let's back it up and see what kind of record quality we got on this guy. Now, pretty much just like that RT909 we did, these old Pioneer tape decks, I mean, if you've got a good quality tape and the, the machine's in good shape, usually you'll get a pretty spot on recording and this is pretty spot on. This tape is very bright, very crisp. It sounds, honestly, probably better than the original sounds coming out of that laptop, um, but it uh, makes an excellent recording as, uh, as we can see here. So we'll finish up today playing out the rest of this that we recorded, but I want to thank everybody. Appreciate it. Appreciate you checking out the video this week, as well as all the videos 
thanks to all the new people that have signed up and hopefully you found something here that you like. And uh, thanks to all the people that have left uh, really good comments and uh, left uh, some interesting uh, inquiries about some things they've been working on. Ho hopefully I've helped you along the way a little bit with that. But uh, as always, we'll catch you next week for something different. And uh, we've been kind of on a run of tape decks lately, so uh, maybe we'll pick up with something different uh, next week. So. We'll finish out with uh, what we recorded here. A little bit of uh, dance tonight away. Ooh, baby, baby. Come on. Take a dance.